How are we doing, Missouri State Bears fans? Welcome back to the Standard Sports Recap. I am your Standard Sports Editor, Brenner Moore. And I'm the sports columnist, Blaine Wheeler. Let's dive on in. The biggest story on everyone's mind this week is that Bears baseball is back. It's back. They traveled down to Texas to play in the Cardinal Classic hosted by Lamar University, the Cardinals. And Blaine, just kind of talk about their performance a little bit. Yeah, Jack Duffy had a big first day. Mm -hmm. uh, ben Whetstone in a home run. And, and you saw some freshmen coming. And so the people who hadn't been in the program mm -hmm. too long of Duffy is just right. a sophomore. And Whetstone, who was getting his first starts. And then Buckner, who was getting his first start. It was good to see some of the new faces make some plays, mm -hmm. hit some RBIs, strike some kids out. And yeah. there's room to there's obviously room to work. You lose Lamar, you can't do that. But a three and one, you got to feel pretty good about yourselves right now. And uh, they look like they're going to be fun to watch this year. Absolutely, with such a freshman heavy team, you can't really complain about going three and one on your opening yeah. weekend again, especially against a Lamar who, if you read my preview, kind of had a lackluster non-conference record last year but blew up in their conference season and texas southern no one really expected them to be much of a challenge no one bat only two players batted above a 300 uh, batting average last season and those were bare, i believe 302 and 309 yeah. so no one really expected that to happen their era was a little above five it the Bears had every reason to win the two, the two or three games that they played against them. Um, yeah. And then moving on from baseball, the Missouri State men's basketball team ha had a kind of a crazy weekend. Oh, it was a crazy weekend and a crazy week before that, too. Yeah. Southern Illinois, they played Wednesday. They lost by one in a absolute thriller, one of the best games I've seen in college basketball this mm. season, overtime. And then they, they came uh, Sunday. They played Drake at home, mm -hmm. and it's a big game again, just like the one at Southern Illinois, and you think this one's going to be close too, and it right. was. Uh, Drake hit a buzzer beater with five seconds to go from half court, it seemed like. He Pretty was still much. in the bear head of JQH, yeah. and, and that one just hurts, and those last two really, really hurt for the Bears because the two teams they lost to were some of the two best teams in the Missouri Valley yeah. Conference, and if they get those wins, that's four in a row. And, and they're rolling going into the Missouri Valley Conference play. So they look to Wednesday, they mm -hmm. play Bradley, they look to Saturday, and they'll play Northern Iowa. And that's the end of the regular season before they play the Missouri Valley Conference, the first through fourth. But back to Drake just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's touch on that. They missed five free throws in the last minute. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it's it's pretty hard to win a ball game. It really is. And kind of going back a little bit past the last minute, uh, a couple – a couple Bears saw themselves removed from the game, as well as a couple fans. So we, at uh, Jared Dixon had a breakaway layup. He was uh, wide open. Drake's player was gaining on him. It looked like there might have been a little push there. Kind of when you watch the replay, it looks like he pulled back a little mm -hmm. bit. But Jer regardless, Jared Dixon went down hard. Mm -hmm. Everyone heard it. I was watching from home on TV on ESPN, and I heard it. Mm -hmm. And the Missouri State bench ran to Dixon's aid like any other team should and would. Right. And unfortunately, once the team leaves the bench, they have to get gone. And a couple fans didn't really like that. Um, one you may know, Larry Cat, he uh, kind of got into some words with the referees, right. and they got kind of sick of hearing it. And it's good. It was a weird play in a sense of it was right by the Missouri State bench. Mm -hmm. So the kids' natural instincts are to get up and... Go so, help. Oh, because it was a very hard fall. Oh, like you it, said, yeah. And everyone in the arena stood up. Everyone knew. And so the rule is if you get off the bench, you enter the playing field, you got to go. Mm -hmm. Which, and it was so, so touchy in a sense of they didn't end up calling the, uh, the intentional, mm -hmm. and, and it was just kind of a play on thing. Yeah. And whenever that was. Uh, that got some fans fired up. Yeah. And it, and, it, and that's what got the Bears' run really started. Because right. they were down the whole game until about five minutes to go when this happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, just everyone in JQH almost took it personal. And, yeah. And it was loud in there. It's the most energy I've seen JQH uh, all year. I, I really think so. And, and you, can correct me, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time that JQH has erupted in booze at the end of a Missouri State game that resulted in a loss this season. Uh, I think it was more aimed towards... Some of the refs. No, you're and, absolutely right. That's right. what I was getting at. Okay, just to, yeah. yeah, just to highlight the fact how into this game the Bears fans were. Well, definitely, exactly, and that and that was kind of what I. Whenever they all stood, even, and whenever the Bears went on the run, the mm -hmm. part of me saying they went on the run was because those fans were feeding them. Energy. Oh, absolutely. And and you felt like if they were to turn that game around and win that ball game mm -hmm. in the last second, that could have been a turning point in the Bears' season. They weren't able to, and that's what makes it hurt. Uh, so bad. So 
They, they look to Wednesday, Saturday, and March 1st through 4th. Yep. On the other side of basketball, the Lady Bears wrapped up their final away weekend of the season with two wins, and it pretty much a defensive battle both games. We saw your coach Kelly Harper talked about and said in her postgame interview on the Sunday's game against Valparaiso that defense won the weekend. It's because both games were very hard defensively and the Lady Bears had to really buckle down like they've had to in the past couple games with the defense. They're sitting really pretty in the Missouri Valley Conference right now, second place behind the undefeated Drake still. And Really, they just kind of, their sights are set on Drake. Mm -hmm. um, after they lost to Drake last uh, the last matchup they had, Kelly Harper kind of articulated that her team was just grasping at the chance to play against Drake again, presumably in the finals of the Missouri Valley Conference. Uh, that's going to be something Bears fans, any basketball fan, really any basketball should, fan. should be yeah. interested in. Uh, moving on to our last couple sports of the week, the Missouri State swim and dive team, at least the women's side, went and took the crown at the Missouri Valley Conference Championship this weekend, walking away with first place. Oh. And it really wasn't more of a walk away. It was kind of a <laughs> drop, drop a mic moment yeah. because Missouri State taking first, Southern Illinois took second. Hunt, Missouri State had over 100 more points than the Salukis had in second place. That's not a victory. That's a domination. Yeah. And we saw it was a star. Records stud. were set. Records right? were set. Um, Sydney Zupan set or the Missouri Valley Conference record at 1 minute 55 seconds in the 200 backstroke. And then we saw freshman Libby Howell, someone who Coach Collins has highlighted every single meet this year. She once again walked away with a gold, dethroning the former champion in the 1500. And that's just unheard of, especially for a freshman. For freshman. Exactly. And then moving on to our final sport of the week, the softball team traveled to, well, Blaine, where did they travel to? Yeah, they went down to UTSA in mm -hmm. Texas Southern. And then they went two and three. It was, it was, a, it was a fun tournament for them, obviously, mm. but you, you get teams like Kansas. It, right. And that was, that was good for the Bears uh, to see a team like that. And even they were beating Kansas. Yeah. They were up six to three uh, just with a couple innings left. And they weren't able to close out that game, but but some highlights of that, who hit them into that six to three game, mm -hmm. was Daphne Plummer. She she's a freshman. Saw her seeing her first time, mm -hmm. uh, really on the field all year. Newcomer of the week, right? New and Valley newcomer of the week mm -hmm. from Lee, uh, Lee Summit West, I believe. Yep. Uh, she hit a bunch of RBIs and, and hit a tr triple to get the Bears that six to three lead in their last game against Kansas. Kansas had been, ended up winning. Uh, seven to six, so it was a tough loss. But the Bears seeing some good competition there, and I, I think they're going to be fun to watch. Yeah, as well. and exactly like you said, that tough competition early in the non-conference season really prepares you for the Missouri Valley Conference. Absolutely. And you can't really improve unless you walk away with some things that you did wrong. Yeah. And so the the softball team knows that, Coach Hesse knows that, and they're going to definitely go back to the drawing board and see where they can go from here. I believe that's everything we had this yep. week. That's it. And as always, this video is brought to you by Larry Cat Law Office, the number one lawyer in Springfield for drug, traffic, and DUI cases. You ever get in some trouble? Be sure to give them a call. I'm Brenner Moore. I'm Blaine Wheeler. We'll see you next week. Thanks.